Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Pollock. I'm here from Divers Alert Network, and we're monitoring free divers to see if they develop any bubbles after some of their deep and particularly deep and repetitive dives. The purpose for monitoring these divers is to try to get evidence of bubble formation. There's a, a question in the diving field as to whether or not free divers can take on enough inert gas to develop decompression sickness. The free divers report symptoms that are consistent with decompression sickness, but we still need more evidence to be sure, to convince those who are on the fence. One of the ways to do that is to identify bubbles in the bloodstream after decompression, after a free dive. If we could see those bubbles, we would have some evidence supporting the possibility of decompression sickness. The device we're using to monitor the divers is a two-dimensional echocardiographic system. It's a very convenient small portable unit, weighs 7.2 pounds and allows us to get a very good view, a four-chamber view of the heart. This clip shows bubbles in the right side of the heart. If you follow these cardiac cycles, you'll notice that there are a number of white flashes that appear on the left side of the screen. Those are bubbles that formed in a decompression study, not of free divers. This was in divers who have much more dissolved gas in their body, so we would expect the potential for many more bubbles. But it does give you an example of what you can see with decompression stress and inert gas. Bubbles are an indicator of decompression stress, but they don't equal decompression sickness. If we see bubbles in the bloodstream, we have an idea that a dive is more stressful than if there are no bubbles, but we certainly don't treat people who have bubbles. We use it as an indicator, something we can monitor for research purposes. We didn't find any bubbles in the athletes this week, but that's not surprising since they were only making one dive to their maximum depth every day. We'll have to do more looking in divers who are doing multiple deep repetitive dives to see what we can find in those cases.